Look at the front where it says Ames real big. everyone boz cobs you know what that means we're gonna go in there and see what they have for halloween we're at the one here at the clearview mall in butler and uh what are we waiting for let's go in there and see what they have for halloween and i have that feeling that if it's like the one in manaka i'm gonna be tempted to start looking at christmas stuff too all right let's go in there and see what they have all right here we are at garden and patio and here we go with the inflatables i love the inflatables that they have here at boz cobs just like we saw at Manaka, they have the ghost friend and pumpkins inside of this big snow globe, which looks rather cool, but I like the lights, but I feel like they should be like different colors instead of white, but I guess that's what makes it pop. And then the jack-o'-lantern here wearing the witch hat with the glowing green eyes. You don't scare me, buddy. Nice try. <laughs> Trick or treat. I love that sign. And look at the happy family here in this jack-o'-lantern here. <laughs> Very cool. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good old skeleton pulling his head off. That's what I do at work sometimes. I'm just kidding. Mr. Boo. <laughs> Very cool. I like the stacked pumpkins. Those ones are nice. It's only 25 bucks. That ain't bad. But I love the one with the kitty on it. That's probably my favorite one. The mean old pumpkin with the crazy kitty. <laughs> but that is cool. Very cool. And for Thanksgiving, they got the kooked out of his mind turkey, like me. I'm kooked out of my mind half the time, so I feel you, brother. And since I couldn't remember the name of it and couldn't think of it off the top of my head last time, the Headless Horseman. I do like this one a lot. Very expensive, but it is pretty, pretty awesome. And it's bigger than me. I mean, it's like seven foot tall. So after we looked at the inflatables, they have the really cool scarecrows, the really tall ones again that you could put, you could like put in the ground. Or like in a planner. The welcome sign. I like the fall welcome sign. And the little scarecrows here that you can put like up on a mantle or wherever you would like. And we saw these at the other location too. The little wall art and the fabric pumpkins as well. This one doesn't have quite as much stuff as the other location had. Um, but they do have... Uh, I love the boo sign. That boo sign is cool. But I didn't see that on display. But that's okay. Over on this side, I like their hanging wall art, like the welcome side you could put on your door. That one's nice. Punflower Farm, Happy Harvest, that one's nice. And they got these pumpkins again, like we saw at the other store. But I didn't see these. Look, a taco dog. I guess that's supposed to be a witch dog. How come they... Halloween pups in costume. Oh, that's cool. We didn't see that at the other store. More scarecrows and more happy scarecrows. They're nice, though. They're nice looking. And so are these, wow, these are only $3.59. These aren't bad. A little hanging pumpkins and skeletons. I like these. I like this one here. But the pumpkin one's cool. For $3.59, that ain't a bad deal. You can put that up on the porch. And besides that, they have other decorations here as well. Here's Mr. Skeleton. He got a buddy in gold back there. <laughs> Trick or treat. And these are only $2.39. I was, remember, I was wondering how much these were at the other location, and I said, well, you could get them at, like, Dollar Tree, but these are nice, especially this one. It's kind of holographic in a way. That one is, too. They're shiny. It's like they have that foil on them. Welcome, scaredy cats. <laughs> they have some pretty nice welcome signs and trick-or-treat signs here. I think we saw these ones at the other location as well. But I did like this one the most with the pumpkin on there. That one's really fancy. And not like Applebee's, but like Boscov's. Pretty nice sized jack-o'-lanterns here. They light up. They got the fake tombstones again. I know we saw this one at the other location. But I don't remember seeing this one. He doesn't work. He's sleeping. Let's try another one. See if this one works. And he's sleeping too. Okay, well, we tried. And they're on sale. Wait, let's give it one more shot. Let's try this one. Nothing. Remove the play. Okay, that, that would help, I guess. There we go. Now let's try it. Oh, there you go. That's cool. 
How cool. Foam, though. They're made out of that cheap styrofoam, but hey, that's cool. Oh, look at these ones. Spooky. Boo. I like that one. I just gotta refrain from getting more wall art. We got nice little witch hats, too. Little headbands, anyway, for kids. Garden flags. I didn't see these at the other location. Halloween garden flags. I have a witch. Pumpkins in the back of a truck. Another witch. There's a different one back here. Trick or treat. Oh, that one's cool. And the rest seem to be the same. They got little LED string lights. These appear to be like ghosts. I think they are. Yeah, they're ghosts. It's hard to tell. Um, but they got those and they got bats up here. And if I move this sign out of the way down here, they got little pumpkins. Those are nice. And they're only $3.59. This is nice too. I guess this is, yeah, this is like a shadow box that lights up. Let's see if we can get it to work. There we go. Wow. Now, see, on camera, it shows up blue. But with the naked eye, it's purple. Either way, that's cool, but I kind of like it being blue. But with the naked eye, it's actually purple. But that that is pretty sweet. I like that. Let's see if I can turn it off. There we go, so I don't drain the battery. Um, then up here we have hanging ghosts and decor. Guess you can hang that from a tree. It's only ten dollars. Not bad. They all look to be the same. They have the boo sign. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of tinsel decorations, these can work sometimes. The witch's hat. They even have a Steelers themed one. Awesome. I don't like the Ravens themed one, even though the Ravens and just about every other team except the Detroit Lions are better than the Steelers this year and the, maybe the Jets. <laughs> Um, home Sweet Haunted Home. I like that little one here. And that's only $2.99. I like that. I might have to buy that. I shouldn't, but I might have to. Home is where you hang your broom. <laughs> Trick or treat, wipe your feet. I like that. So I might be picking up a couple of things while we're in here. It's very easy for me to do. Candy corn lights. The only thing that candy corn is good for is making interesting color lights with half orange, half yellow on them. $6.99 for a 50 count. And then they have 70 count mini Halloween lights that are orange. And they have some in purple. So, and the purple ones, they don't light up too well, but the orange ones usually do. I have a set of purple lights. I didn't buy them here. I got them years ago, and maybe they're just worn out. But they're kind of on the dim side. Honestly, the orange ones pop better, and so do green ones if you can find green ones. Anyway, over here we have our little ghost buddy hanging out with his... Oh, I like that way they crafted that with beads and buttons for his legs. And my broom runs on coffee. Happy Halloween, witches. Cool stuff. I got more. I like the pumpkin one. I like how he has, like, that coming out of... I guess that's supposed to be, like, the top of the pumpkin, but it looks... Like he's missing a hat. I feel like he should have a hat. Uh, but actually, they're all like that. Okay. And then they got more of these little signs. What does this one say? A witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil. <laughs> I am not handsome, and Kayla is not a witch. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't even see these. Bippity boppity booze. Hocus pocus. I need candy to focus. Look at that with the little kitten. <laughs> That's fun. Nice little decorative pumpkins here as well for like a tabletop or a counter a man or whatever these pumpkins are cool i think we saw those at the other one too so oh look i didn't even notice this spooky sign cool so even though they don't have a whole lot what they do have is nice and i say that because they are getting ready for christmas look at all the christmas goodies they're getting started <laughs> And I'm dying to do a Christmas video for you guys, but I'm going to wait, even though it's tempting. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. That's gorgeous. Oh, I gotta stop. I say I need to stop, and then look what I find, and it's ten bucks. Christmas story, little centerpiece. It's on sale for ten bucks. It lights up. I guess you could paint it if you wanted to. What do I do? Do I get it or do I wait? It's the only one there and they say they have an option for a pink bunny. It's Halloween, not Christmas, but you know I love Christmas and this is my favorite movie of all time. 
boy, did they sell that movie out with all the stuff you can buy anymore. Gee whiz. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait. I'll, I'll do the smart thing and wait, and I'll buy a couple Halloween items while we're here, because I like supporting Boscovs. They're good people. Really love their stores, and even I said no more wall art. I'm going to grab that, and what else did I see that I really like? If I can find it now. I don't remember where it was at. Well, I can't for the life of me remember what else I wanted to grab. I was looking at other things, but I definitely want to at least get this. I like this a lot. That's pretty cool. So, definitely that at least. And uh, maybe I'll see if they have a better one. That one kind of got some scratches on it. Uh, they kind of all do. Well, this one looks alright. Oh, wait. No, this one looks better. Sorry. I'm picky. I like it to look good. I might have a little bit of dirt on it, but that's okay. We will take that one. And we will hang these ones back up here. Cool. Happy camper with that. I forgot to show you, they even have some more decorations here. They have football, and as you can see, I'm wearing a Steelers jersey, even though my Steelers disappoint the hell out of me this season. Hey, I still rock. I still rock them out, you know? Fan for life. Welcome to our patch. Happy fall. Farmers, vegetables, home, pumpkin. <laughs> So, got a couple on here, but like I said, they're really honestly trying to make way for Christmas stuff in here. Give thanks. Like that. And the truck. And check these out. Harvest Happiness. I love that with the birds. Those are really, really nice. Yeah, besides all the Christmas stuff that they're slowly starting to roll out. And we'll obviously come back and do a video when they get the rest of their Christmas stuff. Because I loved their Christmas tree display that they had in here last season. It was beautiful. And actually, last time we were in here, I didn't do a video. We were just shopping and walking around. And the lady that was working in here recognized us. And she said she enjoyed our video. And if you're watching, thanks for watching. And thanks for watching this one, if you are. And, uh... Well, we can't wait to come back. We love Boscovs, and we love supporting the store. Now, the only thing I will not do today is buy fudge, because I just did buy fudge at the Boscovs in Manaka yesterday. I need a break. <laughs> they got little trees. They're getting ready to go. Look at the happy little snowman up there. I like how this went from a Halloween video to a Christmas video. Okay, yeah, I am going to stop now, and we will come back when they make this full-blown Christmas in here. I love this, though definitely gonna buy that all right everyone well that's gonna wrap up our little tour there of the store i uh, i did get that little sign that i liked even though i need to stop getting wall art i keep doing it over and over art. i know um we didn't have a chance to go upstairs and look at the candles and other fall items in there because I, I, I figured it's the same exact stuff that we saw at the boss cobs in manaka and uh i mean we were there for a long time filming that place and uh, we have things we need to do today too we're kind of crunched on time but at least i got to show you uh their main selection of halloween items but if you come here know that you won't be disappointed because they always have awesome candles they always have awesome tablecloths, uh, placemats. They have a ton of perfumes, which I always go buy <laughs> Yeah, so whatever you're looking for, they're, they're already getting gift sets out for Christmas. So this will be a great place to go shopping for Christmas. It's one of our favorite stores besides Meyer, And oh, I really wish there was one closer to Pittsburgh. Everything good is so far away. I think that they did have them in Pittsburgh, but they closed. I know. Well, they had bankruptcy issues, but as you can see, they straightened themselves out, recovered, and they're doing great. And they're actually about to open up a new one in Warren, Ohio, or Niles, Ohio, at the Eastwood Mall Complex. And we cannot wait to present a video from that place there. We may not make it on grand opening day or weekend, but we will be there soon and present you with an awesome video from that location once we get the chance to. And soon could be anywhere between opening day and like January. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm definitely gonna do a Christmas one at least. But anyway, I wanna do a store tour video there. But anyway, uh, yeah, if you go to Boscovs, you'll never be disappointed. Support them. They're a great store, great company. There's only, what, 49 of them now or something? Probably. Or something like that. And they do it right. Instead of opening up a whole, a whole like, bunch of stores, they open one a year. And they, they do that, which is smart because they don't get in over their heads like other companies have done in the past. So definitely check them out. Great friendly people, always helpful and always a pleasant shopping experience and great prices. And I got a cool new little sign. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody. Stay awesome. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.